Hi, my name is Sabrine. I'm a product manager at the Nature Foundation St. Martin. Um, today we are doing a really fascinating field trip um, through this wetland ecosystem in Bonaire, um, which I understand is a protected Ramsar site. Um, it is very different than any site that we have um, on Dutch St. Martin. Um, unfortunately, our island doesn't have any protected wetland areas, um, and our Ramsar site um, is not afforded these local protections. Um, and it is amazing to see, um, you know, it's expansive. There's a great diversity um, of mangroves that we don't see in Dutch St. Martin. Um, our black and red species of mangroves are almost extinct. Um, we have, you know, mainly white mangroves that are in pretty poor health um, and buttonwood. Um, and yeah, because of the lack of protections um, and the fact that St. Martin is almost fully developed with really no room for restoration or expansion, um, a project like this is not something that I think is in our future near or far. Um, there are other ways, of course, we can maybe attempt to restore certain areas, but this is, yeah, really impactful to see. Um, all of the work that has gone into trying to restore this area um, and manage it so it has a good flow um, of water and is providing, you know, the best ecosystem services that it can um, is amazing. Uh, yeah, on St. Martin, the number of mangroves, the extent of mangroves that we have um, is so limited that it doesn't have really a quantifiable impact um, on coastal resilience. Um, of course it's good for, you know, native biodiversity, um, but it's not providing the same functions that this wetland is. My name is Soraya Bainten. I'm the Oceans Coordinator of WWF Guyanas for both Suriname and Guyana. And today we actually went on a mangrove field trip to look at how mangroves are the most important species if you look at a coastal habitat. Uh, my expertise is more into ocean and integrated habitat management, in which we look at a collaboration between sea turtles, where we need to protect them, but also the habitats they are living in. So we always look at a coastal integrated management approach, in which you look at mangroves, beaches, corals, and everything surrounding it, and why it is so important for us to protect it. So today we also looked at the mangrove in its natural habitat and also the wonderful work that the mangroves maniacs are doing with their rehabilitation project. Um, I also got the opportunity to help them out with their replanting mangroves um, event that they had on last week, Saturday. For us as WDF, it is really important that people know how important oceans are for us and why we need to conserve them. And with oceans, we don't only meet everything that we see on sea, but also the coastal areas that are of great importance if we want to keep our countries protected and our islands, especially for flooding and erosion. Well, my name is Juliana Cintura. I am specialist in government relationships in WWF Colombia for marine environments. And uh, during this workshop about NBS and climate resilience here in Bonaire, uh, we managed to understand how the Caribbean is facing climate change across NBS implementation over different uh, places. So we think the exchange of experiences between islands and also with the mainland is very useful to understand the challenges that we have to face to adapt to uh, the new scenarios of climate change. And I think that is very useful that uh, we met plenty of people from all over the Caribbean to we create an envision a wider Caribbean that understands as one their problems. And uh, I think uh, it was very useful also to have all the guides uh, that already knows uh, Bonaire Island and their environments and their challenges. Uh, we have some uh, workshop uh, and also field trips. And uh, I think this is very important for us because we uh, have a bigger and deeper understanding on how to work and how to be united uh, to make our efforts uh, have a better uh, income and also uh, had finance and 
how we can also work for advocacy in many levels uh, to ensure the Caribbean resilience uh, over the next years and for the future generations. Mi nombre es Luis Alonso Zapata, soy especialista marino costero de WP Colombia. Eh, queríamos un poco comentar sobre el tema del carbono azul. ¿ya? Esto es parte de lo que se llama soluciones basadas en naturaleza, en este caso desde los manglares, dado que como un árbol pueden captar el CO2, fijar el carbono y liberar el oxígeno. Este carbono en su mayoría, en muy buena proporción, queda debajo del, del, de la superficie, es decir, a nivel de raíces y también algo en la parte del tronco. Eh, ¿Cuál es el problema? Que cuando tú cortas el árbol, entonces ese carbono se libera, va a la atmósfera y vuelve a causar los, los problemas de gases de efecto invernadero. En ese sentido, lo que se está haciendo últimamente es algo que se conoce como bonos de carbono, que están tratando de... Eh, buscar la forma de que se protejan los manglares, que se evite la tala, la deforestación y por eso generar en, a nivel de bolsa de valores eh, algo como que las empresas que no han podido reducir emisión de carbono puedan eh, pagar por ese tipo de procesos donde unas comunidades, un país, una región están conservando o restaurando o evitando la deforestación de manglares. Ese es básicamente como el proceso que se está llevando en muchas partes del mundo y que está llevando a que de alguna manera eh, se mantenga esa, se evite esa deforestación y se mantengan los manglares con esa posibilidad de captación y de mejorar, mejorar toda la parte ambiental. I think one great takeaway from this is that you know these restoration projects however difficult are possible um, if you have you know enough stakeholder engagement um, you have people who really support the mission and want to see it followed through um, whatever your context you can try to fit it and do something impactful um, even though on St. Martin we might, you know, we could never have probably the extent um, of the restoration that's going on here. Um, there is, you know, there are groups um, that are doing this, that um, have done the research, um, that have kind of a roadmap uh, or a protocol for how to do this and are very willing to share their experiences um, and their staff um, and, and support us. Uh, it's really a collaborative effort um, and it's good to, to see that.